Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how we can change icon of our Ionic app as well as how we can attach splash screen to that app. All right, so maybe I'll show you the demo first. So as you can see, I have uh, attached this uh, icon. Maybe let me zoom a little bit. As you can see, it's coming properly. And if I click on this icon, it's showing the splash screen as well. All right, so how I created that, that I'll show you. Let me minimize this. So for that, you need to go to this website first and just follow the instruction it's saying like install this package once you have installed this you need to go to this particular path of your android application if you are doing dealing with that otherwise you need to go to the ios uh, location all right so for that you need to add these four lines so i'll go back to the solution and you can see uh, under this values folder you have something called style xml file and then i have added these four lines that's it and what you need to do you need to create your image I mean icon image as well as the splash screen image so I use this website to uh, create the icon you can use any other website as well and using this I just resized my resized my splash screen so that it can generate automatically all the folders okay so still it's not proper this just uh, image which I have created it just uh, you can see like let me this is the package I got it from that website and these are the automatically it created you know so many images for me so maybe I'll just show you randomly uh, this one so this is my icon and if I click on this one, this is the splash screen. So it's still it's not proper because the image itself was not uh, of a proper dimension. So you need to create the image of a proper dimension. Then only you will see it will you know come properly. All right. So just for the demo purpose, I am just changing this um, icon and the splash screen so that it will show in the app as which you have already seen in the demo. Okay. So what you need to do uh, once this part is over, you just need to add these four lines and sync using that. Uh, Ionic app uh, cap uh, capacitor sync uh, command and once that part is done you need to go to this Android application and uh, you need to click on this res folder resources folder right click on it and click on new and then you need to select this image asset and once you click the, click on that you need to what you need to do click on image and here this is the path so what you need to you can give a path of that particular icon which I have generated so I have given that and you if you want to you know like resize or you want to don't want to you can just play with these uh, you know tool to get the proper uh, uh, you know size of the icon and in the background what you can do let's say if you want to show some padding or something if you want to change the color you can do with this tool all right once that part is over you can say you can simply class uh, sorry next 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 and say finish as I have already done it so I'm not uh, executing again now for the splash screen what you need to do you need to right click on this uh, uh, drawable and say open in explorer let it open so what i have done actually i have uh, you know like this is the folder uh, so what i actually i what whatever images i downloaded right so if i show you from the bundle click on android and this what i did i just simply copied all and pasted here in the uh, resource folder of the android i just pasted here that's it and once you rebuild the solution you should be able to see this uh, icon as well as the splash screen other than that you need not to do any other configuration until unless you need some specific configuration like you want the splash screen to stay for more than whatever is the time something like those kind of settings if you want to change then you have to obviously follow this instruction here which is also available in the same documentation if you scroll little down uh, you can follow this uh, you know uh, steps to do that and I think it's below it also showing you I'll show you maybe yeah so maybe you can just tamper the setting using this capacitor config JSON okay so if you scroll a little more more you will see some two links so these are the two links maybe I'll click one of them and it also talking about the same which I have shown you how you will create this splash screen how you will manually change the splash screen and stuff like that and I'll show you that uh, I think it's showing somewhere yeah so it's the same what I told you like how will you change your icon also all right that's pretty much about this uh, video thank you very much